What's up? This is your boy 12 Inch, and this is Acid. We had an extremely entertaining fight. So we had Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury with the lead up to the fight, just as entertaining. But did anybody get paid off these bets? That's the question. This is Acid. Foot forward. Here's your host, 12 inch. What's good, everybody? Now, that was an entertaining fight. Jake Paul came up with this idea where he asked Tommy Fury and his dad, If I win, you get paid nothing. But if you win, I'll pay you double. Double or nothing. They agreed to it on stage with a handshake. And then later on, I guess he passed out some contracts. He said he signed them himself, but he never heard back from them. So, this is basically how it went down. Acid reaction and recap. So check it out. I think we make a deal then, since you're so confident. <laughs> I think we make a deal. If you win, I'll pay you double what I'm paying you already. But if I win, I take everything that I'm paying you. You've got it. You've got it. And then he follows it up with this. All right, get this. So as you guys saw the bet yesterday on stage, Tommy agreed to it, shook my hand on stage. His dad said that they were agreed to it. So I signed the contract right in front of them. We send it over to their lawyers. And just as I thought, they have gone silent as a mouse for the last 24 hours. They do not want to sign the contract. And it just goes to show that they have this false confidence. Put your money where your mouth is. You shook on it like a man. And now you guys haven't signed the actual content contract to make the deal official. Soft. But it saved you some money though. Pass it. Then at some point, they made a bet. Jake Paul and also Tyson Fury. And it kind of went like this. Hey, hey Jakey boy. I hear you want to bet a bigger bet than $100,000. You want a bigger bet, motherfucker? You want a million dollars? Let's do it. For the heavyweight champion of the world, a million dollars, and that's all you want to bet? You want to go with some chump change like that? No problem. I'm already in contact with your lawyer, Robert, and my team's in touch with him, so we're going to get the money into escrow and make it happen right away. Well, do you think you paid Tommy Fury just off a handshake and pay him double? Do you think you paid Tyson Fury that $1 million in escrow? Let me know what you think. Put it down here in the comments below. Would you pay him? Pass it. So, it looks like both brothers won. So, congratulations to Tommy and Tyson Fury. No wonder Tyson was acting like he won. He did! Got that money. But, looks like they're going to run it back. There was a rematch clause. So, hey, part two is going to be coming our way. I don't know if it's going to be any different. Now, we did hear Jake Paul say that he got sick twice during the camp for this fight. And he did something to his arm and his energy level was low. And he wasn't feeling like it was a full go like he normally does. He said he felt flat coming out. But then again, Tommy Fury's over here making this huge thing. He slipped and he fell when we all saw that he actually got knocked down, in my personal opinion. And how do I know that? Because it was in HD. And that stands for high definition. Last I look. But take a look at the knockdown and tell me what you think. As you can see here, I can clearly see it was a knockdown. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. KD for knockdown, or if you're slightly crazy, type no. We ain't hating on you. But get your eyes checked though. Anyway, I decided to do a deep dive. So I started looking at some social media platforms to see if we can find the answer. So I dove in. So I started by searching with Google. It led to YouTube. And this is what I found. John, the, the world wants to know what, what happened with the contract, with the, the deal that was proposed. Let's talk about boxing. That's what we're here to do, box. Certainly is boxing. Is it? Certainly is a deal about boxing. I'm concentrating. <laughs> is that even rap? Yeah, he's concentrating. Sounds like ducking activity. Sounds like a little hoop de hoop. Okay, 
before you leave, John, just about that contract, just to be clear. Why don't you shut up? But just to be clear about Listen, that. listen, video boy. No, no, but the, the contract. Yeah, just shut up, video boy. No, but I'm just. Little nobody. But, John, I'm curious about. He just, he just curious. Right. Could you give me an answer? I'm his manager. So, go oh, so you will know? I'm, cur I'm curious too. I'm curious too. Damn. Now remember, they had more than 24 hours to sign this contract, and haven't done that. Then after the fight, now here's John Fury. Good morning, world. Check this out. Jake Paul and family. Back home, well rested. Heads back on business. Jake, you know what I'm, you know what I'm gonna do. We had a deal, mate. We had a handshake. We said we boxed for free if we got defeated. You say you'd pay double if Tommy could beat you, and that's what he done. Tommy beat you convincingly. So what I'm gonna ask you to do? His honour would step up to the plate and pay your bill. We had a gentleman's agreement in front of millions of people worldwide. We shook hands on national world television in the great country of Saudi. You know, and please do not come out with all the contract bull, mate. I can hardly read and write. I'm a gypsy. I'm uneducated, you know. But listen, what I can do is all I've got in the world is my word, and I give it you in front of millions of people. We shook hands, and I expect you to do the same thing, Jake. But I know. You will, because you're a stand-up guy. I look forward to hearing from you, Jake. Pay your bill, mate. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, what kind of talk do you think that sounds like? So, I decided to ask some questions. So, I asked John Fury through Punch Report if he got paid. Did Jake Paul pay up? Then, from there, I asked Spylight if Jake Paul paid up. See if they give us a response. Then, moving on, I decided to ask the man himself about that $1 million bet. Tyson Fury, did you get paid? How did that bet end up? After asking those questions, I started thinking, what about that contract? Let's take a look at the contract. So I found this video right here with Derek Shishore showing the contract. Okay. Talk to me, Derek. So uh, got a contract, gonna deliver a crummy right here. Shaka boom. Signed by Jake Paul. Only problem is there's only one signature on that contract. We all know it takes two signatures to commence a contract. <laughs> But that didn't happen, did it, Johnny? You could at least drop your fingerprint on it if you can't read it right. <laughs> you feel me? Look, we all know bullshit when we hear it, right? So we know for a fact, for the fight to even happen, there had to be contracts. And we know for a fact that Jake sent the contracts to his attorney. So all it would have taken it was a yes or no. So excuses don't win you bets. So. But I decided to ask Jake Paul himself if he honored a contract that wasn't signed by the other party. But I did find this, and this might explain how he feels about the whole situation. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I don't believe there's a deal going on here because we all know you got to sign a contract and execute the deal. So you didn't sign the contract, so you can't expect to get paid out. I mean, who does that, right? And then on top of that, if you really think about it, can you go to a casino and scream out, I'm gonna make a bet and never go to the window to place your bet? And then when your team wins, expect to get paid? And I doubt if you would've lost the fight, you would've been running to Jake to give him back all the money. And then Tyson would lose a million dollars on top of it? Nah, I don't think so. Next time sign the contract and you really believe in the situation and you believe that you can win. Bottom line is, Drop it. good job, Jake. We will have an update soon. So please do hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give it a like. Also, we'd like to send a shout out to Punch Plan and also Fight Hype for following the story so closely. Links are in the description. Subscribe to them too. And check out our merch right after this. This is your boy 12 Inch reminding you to put your best foot forward every day. And next time we put up in your YouTube feed, get your ass in. We have everything you're looking for. We are your complete Couture Sports store. We have sweaters, we have hoodies, we have sweatpants, mugs, face masks, pillows, leggings, backpacks, blankets, yoga mats, beach towels, and more. We're not your average merch store. With top end designs, you'll definitely stand out from the crowd. So get your merch now at AssonSports.com and be on the lookout for our digital calendars coming soon.
So get your ass in gear. Damn, son, where'd you find this?